Hey, what's up, you guys? Tom is back with another LinkedIn's video. And, uh, man, two more subscribers, and we'll be at 500. I can't believe it. Uh, man, seems like a uh, kind of, of a long journey. However, you know, it's only been like about maybe less than a year um, when I first started, um, you know, reviewing fragrances, um, you know, on you know part-time basis pretty much. And, uh, man, I'm kind of excited about seeing 500 people actually uh, subscribing to my channel and then also a few people that who have been watching my videos since day one um, the guys that are always commenting um, sharing my stuff maybe whenever they you know buy something from me on Facebook they're willing to uh, throw my page out there like that so I definitely appreciate you guys a lot and with that being said since I'm gloating all over my subscribers and the fans this one is a fan edition okay now I've got Three fragrances that I received from a boy Evan Hall. Okay, um, one is actually in the car. I'm kind of working on that one a little bit. Okay, uh, but the other two we're gonna do a review on today. Okay, are kind of like a first impressions. Okay, um, so with that being said, again Evan Hall, thank you. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, does great packaging, shipping, everything like that is awesome with this guy. So a one in my books, but sent me two three fragrances again but i got the two right here again i got one in the car uh, i've been working on that one that one was niche for all sweet tobacco which is very very lovely you guys if you've never seen that they're a company out of sweden that does the uh, niche for all so um, decided to actually do a full review on that one because that one is very nice okay but the two that we have today one from the house of dazier guys know i've done a video on dossier before this one is the spicy vanilla i've done a video on the uh their take on lost cherry i believe um and then we got this one from the zoo fine fragrances and this is called the car blanc okay so you know here we go man i'm gonna you know spray away now if you've actually watched the video that i posted yesterday um zadig voltiar or however you pronounce it man as much as i kind of was a little disappointed with that fragrance last night the whole dry down and performance really made up for everything else the dry down was very nice it has that incense and vanilla and stuff like that and the performance was amazing we sprayed that on last night probably at about eight o'clock and i was still smelling it on my hand out of all places my hand okay you know, when you're sleeping, your hand can go in all different spots, you know, in your pants, in your woman's pants, under the bed. It doesn't matter. Your hands are all over the place. And for that to still remain intact the whole night, and I was still smelling it at about 10 a.m. this morning. So I finally took a shower. It's finally pretty much gone after numerous scrubs, but we finally got rid of it. So now I got two fragrances in front of me that I can test out. So... This spicy vanilla from Dossier, this is supposed to be Tom Ford's Noir, okay? I had Noir Extreme, which was very nice. That's a very potent, uh, very elegant, gentleman-y type fragrance. If you guys never smelt it, definitely go to maybe an altar or anything like that and give it a shot. But here we go. Spicy vanilla. I never smelt the original Noir. So, again, the cool thing with these Dossiers now, me personally, my own personal complaint is I had a rough time with them as far as... Um, customer service and shipping was horrible when i first got it okay um however the cool thing with them is that they do send you an extra sample inside of each uh purchased fragrance so you can use that thing up it's probably enough for like maybe two or three days worth of wears use that up if you don't like the fragrance don't like how it performs you send the other fragrance back and you get a full refund so with that being said that's pretty damn dope but man let me tell you this fragrance actually has a nice projection. Now, the wifey is definitely not going to be coming in on this video. However, she could probably peek her head out and see if she can smell this a little bit, maybe. Just peek your head out and kind of... Can you, can you get with... Yeah, There's I vanilla. Yeah, Okay, so you can see she was about at least... From where I'm standing, she was about my arm and another half an arm's length worth. So an arm and a half length's worth of projection okay 
This one has nutmeg, black pepper, lemongrass. In the middle, we got rose, patchouli, orris. And at the base, we got vanilla, amber, and opinox, okay? Now, let me tell you, the one thing I like about this fragrance is they have lemongrass. It's not like your, you know, people might think, you know, think of lemon or citrusy. It's kind of citrusy, but then it's kind of got this green grassy type effect as well then you add those spices to this that nutmeg that vanilla in here is very nice that black pepper is giving it this nice freshness as well kind of that you know that feeling when you smell pepper you kind of your nose gets to twitch up a little bit but man you guys this actually is i got four different fragrances from dossier and this actually might be my favorite so far i do have lost cherry the wifey has one as well that one's actually very good. She has two, actually. Um, there was another one that I had that I actually got rid of. I think it was Tom Ford's Metallic, I believe, which actually I wasn't a fan of that one as much. But this one is very, very nice. I'm digging this one right here. This is definitely classy, elegant, gentleman. Um, now, I'm not going to say... A young man might like this, but a young man who's kind of daring, kind of maybe on top of his game, and he's, you know, a boss, he's making his own money, he's not, you know, living off his mommy and doing all that type of stuff, he actually might enjoy this fragrance as well. But this is definitely 30 plus, you're definitely going to love this fragrance. It's spicy, it's got that um, freshness from that pepper, that lemongrass adds just this touch of like citrus, grass, earthy type smell to it as well. You get a little bit of that or it's kind of that waxy smell but man the vanilla on here is very nice as well everything is very nicely done with this fragrance from Dacia I'm actually really impressed with this one this one is definitely gonna be a keeper this spicy vanilla man I like that one next up the one from the zoo fine fragrances now I'm not sure if this is the same zoo that does like the Zoo York. If you've ever heard of those clothing from uh, like JCPenney, Zoo York, and all that other zoo. But um, I think this does come from New York. It does say New York. Um, and if you, as you can see, the perfumer's name is right on the back right here. He signs it. Uh, it's got AJ Everett as well. Um, you can definitely find these fragrances online. I do believe they have a website. I'll leave that down below. But again, kind of like your typical, um, you know, niche fragrance style bottle or those clone houses, you know, Alta, um, Alexandria, stuff like that. So these are almost pretty similar, same style bottle, um, big cap, big atomizer. And I'm hoping this one you can twist, you can. So when you are done with this, you can reuse these bottles. So that's pretty dope. Now let's actually get to the smell, okay? So here we go. Hopefully I don't smell like a zoo. Now, I believe this one has like some hay, some rhubarb in it. Um, there's, some, there's a whole lot of other things in this fragrance as well. I think there's some kind of citrus up at the top. Uh, maybe uh, grapefruit, I believe. But Okay, <laughs> you guys, this... I actually smelled this a couple days ago, okay? I just wanted to give myself one more uh, take on this fragrance. And this one is kind of harsh. This one is, it's earthy, it's musky, it's got a little bit of grapefruit, just the slightest bit of grapefruit. It's not that too, like, you know, citrusy is what I would hope. The rhubarb, I mean, it does add, like, this little bit of freshness, but then there's, like, this hey i think they said there's some like whatever blonde woods are i don't know what that is but maybe that's like some oak some cedar put together i don't know what that is that's some kind of <sighs> this one is very tough you guys to like it's it's kind of smooth it's woody it's earthy um however that's not a fragrance that you're gonna wear around some people that are in an enclosed space because someone might actually want to kick your ass for wearing that stuff i'm not kidding you that one is definitely one of those very daring fragrances okay you walking around you don't give a damn about what anyone thinks you don't care about anything this is one of those fragrances for that type of guy right there you're gonna probably turn heads for all the wrong reasons um 
I don't know. It almost it almost kind of comes off as like skunky as well. Like maybe uh, maybe there's like some hemp in here, maybe some cannabis. I don't know, but kind of comes off a little skunky, almost a little creamy. This earthiness, this woodiness in here. Man. This one, man, thank God I did not actually spend full retail on this. I think this is like $100 on their site. Oof, I would have been angry with that one. But, man, Evan Hall, I can see why you traded this one. Um, this might be on the trading blocks as well if anyone is interested. Zoo, this is that car blanc. That one is definitely a pass for me. Um, maybe the wifey, see if she likes it real quick. I'll just put her off to the side. You know, she's probably getting dressed and all like that. But am I the, am I the only one that doesn't like this? Or do you not like it either? It smells like some sort of like animal that can cologne. So, it, like I said, it's, it's almost skunky. It's animalic. It's musky. It's woody. It's got so many things going on. And, yeah, she just did whisper and said it smelled kind of like weed or some kind of cannabis, which it kind of does. I mean, if that's your thing, if you really like to smell a weed, which, you know, on occasion, sometimes it smells okay. But with all this other stuff going on, it's kind of off-putting, this fragrance, okay? Um, so, with that being said, this seems like one of those fragrances that you might see pop up on Facebook. You know, they got all their other fragrances and... This is one of them that, you know, when you start scrolling through the shop, you see this one. This one to me is a pass. Do not pick this one up unless you just don't give a damn, okay? This is the just don't give a damn fragrance. If you don't give a damn, you pick that up. But be warned, I told you it's kind of, it's it's bad, okay? Um, and it's... It's like I want to at least try to enjoy it or like it, but it's just too hard to do either one. Enjoy it, like it, want to wear it again. I don't know. And like the last time I smelled this, I told you guys I smelled this two days ago. This is one of those fragrances that is tough to get off. Okay, you're gonna literally have to scrub, scrub, scrub like crazy. You might have to put some Ajax, some bleach, some of that, uh, some of that Clorox. Some of that comment, you might have to put some of that on your hands. You're going to have to put some stuff on your hands because this stuff is potent, okay? Now, if there's any silver lining out of this is that this fragrance lasted pretty much the whole day. So, if that's anything to say about anything else that they got, maybe they got something better. But this one just is not the one, okay? This probably would be better off left in a zoo up some giraffe's ass or something like that. So, with that being said... Again, you guys can see I got that into the AM t-shirt. Man, these shirts are very nice and soft. You know, like, again, I wish they were just a little bit softer, but I'm definitely digging. Um, you know, I was kind of complaining about the arm length uh, last time I was wearing them, but actually this is a pretty decent arm length, okay? It's like right above that elbow. It's probably about an inch or two above the elbow. You don't want those below the elbow because then it kind of looks sloppy. The V-neck looks very nice, so we shall see what they look like after we give these a wash because you guys know sometimes that little neck part kind of crinkles up a lot so we shall see how they react over time so with that being said i am going to get up out of here i uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video it is very nice in wisconsin again it's like dang near 50 degrees so i'm going to be out there with probably just the sweater today so uh, with that being said i'm going to get up out of here i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did hit the likes comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time <laughs>